Hi guys, I'm back on my channel. You guys, if you are looking for a very fast, easy to make, good to eat recipes, this is the one, beef clay pot rice, Hong Kong styles. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do it step by step. And before I'm gonna to explain to you uh, what is in front of me, let me just present myself. My name is Esti. Um, if you're new here, haven't subscribed, please do that. Uh, and I want to welcome you. So this is a channel about eating healthy, all the lazy, uh, sleazy recipes you can get. I want a good meal and I don't have time to spend too much in the kitchen. I want to have a life and I want to make sure that, you know, I can spend at least time to prepare food and then more time for myself. So if you are looking for something like this in a channel, you got the right channel. So subscribe and make sure you follow us in our social media, Facebook and Instagram too. So let me just start off by presenting you guys the food. Uh, the ingredients is really simple. You guys know I don't really eat a lot of beef. Uh, I don't know whether you guys have this problem, but I do have this problem when I'm making a beef because beef, if you overcook them, they will be very stiff. But if you cook them at the right time, right temperature, uh, and you know, they can be really, really nice. And how you season it is also very important. So I'm going to show you what are the things we need. The beef. You can get any kind of cheap cut beef also, it's no problem. Uh, this is fresh beef, I, it's not frozen. I just bought them at the supermarket just when before I came back from home from work. So I'm going to slice them and you're going to see how I do that. And also some leeks. So of course if you don't like leeks, you can always add like pepper, uh, any kind of even salad. Uh, spinach would be very nice too. Rocola can be nice too. And then I have some garlic. Here is uh, five, six cloves of garlic. You need a lot of cloves of garlic for this. And then ginger, about an inch. And then I have one onion, this finely chopped, and two eggs. And then I have this clay pot rice here. I don't know whether you guys can see. I have actually cooked them, try cooking them in a... Uh, oh, it's very steamy hot. It's in the oven uh, for five, 15 minutes. So it's a bit burnt at the side, uh, but this is okay. Clay pot rice is supposed to be burnt, especially the Hong Kong style. They like it to be burnt, but make sure it's not like black, okay? Don't eat that black one. You can die from that. And also some seasoning. So this is a seasoning sauce that I'll be using, uh, but I'm going to explain to you. But first of all, we have to prepare the, the fries first. If you already have rice that is left over, don't throw it away. Put them in the pot like this uh, and then, you know, just uh, warm it up a little bit in the microwave. So I have this pot, which is really, really good. I love this pot so much. Uh, this pot is enough for us two person. So, uh, and it's really, it holds the temperature so well with the cover lid on. It can stay warm for almost in one hour. Okay, so if you have one at home, use that. If you don't have, I will put the link so you can read the link first if you want to own this or bring one home like this. If you don't have that. Clay pot is something that we use uh, a lot in Chinese cooking. So before I uh, jump on, let me just remove everything and put my meat chopper, my cutter in front so that I can slice the meat first. So let me just put the, the rice, the rice is really hot now. So I'm going to cut the meat. Of course, I'm not going to use the whole thing because this is too much. So I like to uh, use this one. Make sure you s sharpen your knife first, yeah, with this uh, sharpener. And this is the best sharpener I find. Uh, it's really easy to use, cheap and good. So if you are interested and want to own this, I'm going to include the link also in this video description. So when you slice the beef, 
uh, you want to make sure that they are as thin as possible. And the best way is to use a, a slightly frozen one. Then you can get it even more thinner. But because this is fresh, so you may want to make sure that your knife is very, very sharp. Yeah. So just thinly slice this. Beef is something that I we don't usually eat uh, here in Sweden. Uh, in my home, I think a lot of Swedes, they like to eat beef. But in my home, I try not to eat uh, so much of uh, red meat. First of all, they are really expensive. Secondly, you know, uh, I prefer white meat, fish, than this kind of meat. Uh, I'm not a big, big fan, but... Uh, cooking this way, I prefer this way. Or you eat them on a hot pot, okay, like a shabu shabu, then it's nice. Because if you cook them in the stew or in the curry, they always turn up, tends to be very, very uh, hard, uh, stiff, depending on the cut that you bought. So this one is a bit thicker for my taste. So really don't need a lot, just this much will do. And I'm going to keep the rest. And let me season this with the bowl. So, again, I like to cut them slightly thin. I will want to stack them one on top of the other. So I get this really, really thin slice. And as you see, my method is all the lazy style, the super lazy style. So I don't want to like cut one by one. So this is the fastest way for me to cook. And if you notice, my cooking is all about the laziest style or the laziest method. Because I think that we should enjoy life, isn't it? Life is too short. And also, you know, you never know you wake up tomorrow. So you have to have a life. Going out, especially now when it's springtime, it's time for you to get out of the house and do something fun. Okay, I'm just going to cut them really, really, mm, not very thin, but, you know, about uh, three quarter of a centimeter thick. And try not to spend too much time in the kitchen. S go out, especially when the weather is so nice. So now our weather in Sweden is uh, really uh, the bad, the worst time to come visit, visit Sweden is actually this time, because uh, first of all, the weather is very unpredictable. We call it the April weather. Now I'm going to wash my hands. We call this uh, April weather. And April is the time uh, when you cannot predict the, the, temp the temperature. So now, guys, let me just, before I go on, I, I always like to season this with a little bit of oil. But I'm going to include some sesame oil. And this one, when you, tr when, I don't know whether you guys have experienced this yourself. When you open the lid, right, there's some lid that, you know, is a full opening. And then there's some sesame, uh, some, some opening, it is slightly smaller. I think that is better, especially if we are dealing with sesame oil. You don't want to put too much because, you know, if you too much, put too much, it will be too strong. So just a bit. And then I have a light soy sauce. I'm going to put about a tablespoon. And then this uh, dark soy sauce, just for the color. 
about a teaspoon and then my oyster sauce there are two different types of oyster sauce one is uh, vegetarian so guys if you are vegetarian i'm going to include the link uh, of course you're vegetarian you don't eat beef right okay so this has nothing to do with vegetarian but there are there are people who want to buy mushroom sauce so the flavors in terms of a taste test i think i have done one before uh, i bought the i've tried this mushroom uh it's actually quite similar to the oyster sauce so if you want you can try the mushroom one and tell me what you think okay uh, for me i feel like there is no no difference okay and then now i'm going to include some potato flour some people they like to put bicarbonate some people put bicarbonate i prefer to put potato flour I find the potato flour is more smooth again depending on the cuts that which cuts that you're using so for me uh, this cuts I think the steak is quite good so just a bit of potato flour and then you want to season this a while okay and for, I've forgotten some sugar a pinch of sugar and if you like a pinch of salt let this stay like this yeah like strips of a beef okay let this sit for a while and let's go and cook the rest of the ingredient so you want to you can prepare the beef uh, in advance uh for overnight if you like but i'm preparing it now and pretend that this has been overnight but also of course you know i'm sure you it's okay if you just you know don't have time it's okay if you marinate them the difference is not like this much it's just, just a little bit difference oil don't wait for the heat to be like psh, all over the place I want to put the ginger first okay I have to increase the heat and then the garlic Lots of garlic and lots of ginger, yeah. You won't you won't regret eating too much of this because this garlic is really very good for anti-cancer. And ginger have to lose weight. And of course a pinch of salt. on the oven okay now add the onions
transformação. Now I want to add my licks. So licks really depending on how much you like. I prefer just a little bit because the onion is a bit too much. Okay, increase. some water so it will steam the vegetable so it will be cooked faster Okay, let me show you guys the, the sauce, okay? You want to make a sauce. So, let me put the two beaten egg first. One, two. Okay. Aside, make the sauce. Light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, then a little bit of sesame salt, and some soy sauce, oyster sauce. And then some sugar, the same. It's exactly the same thing that you're using for the. And then use a spoon, just mix them. Okay. Mm. Very, very good. So now the rice. So Put it into the rice. Oh, you just want these are just boiled rice. I really cook them in the uh, you if you don't have uh, this um, oven, you can cook them on the stove too. So, I'm just going to sprinkle some of the sauce in here. So, the rice is flavored. And then I'm going to pour the rest of my vegetable, my stir fried vegetable. This is super good, isn't it? You can eat everything in one pot. Super lazy style. <laughs> Make a hole in the center. Then you want to put the beef. Oh, later. You can put the beef on top. Just like this. Okay. Make a hole in the center. 
See, the juice of the beef will come to the side later on. So the rice is going to be like moist and full of... And then the egg. I'm going to pour the egg over here. Two eggs all together. That's it. Put on the lid. Okay. And then I'm going to put them in the oven. Go and see how I put it in the oven. Have to be very, very, very careful. Preheated. So now I'm going to increase this to like a grill. So I could, I see, I don't know if I want to do that. Okay, so grill is for something that you want to grill. This is not grilling, okay? So now I'm going to flip the camera over. You can follow me. Take a look. You can see, you cannot see, right? It's kind of difficult to see. Anyway, you guys know how this look like in the oven. So, let's flip the camera and have a little chit chat while I clean my plates and all that. So, let me show you guys what is, what am I doing here? Okay, there's a lot of plates, right? So, usually... I like to clean this. Uh, LG doesn't. He likes to. Uh, LG doesn't like to clean this. But today he's going on uh, to the gym, so I he has a day off today. So normally, this is LG's job, and I like this because um, I don't like it, but I have to. I want to show you how we sort out the food here in Sweden. So this is a sorting box where we have uh, all kinds of uh, sorting, sorting things out. So usually it's like this in Sweden. Uh, aluminium foil, you cannot throw them together with the burnable stuff. Burnable stuff is including all the plastic, all the thin, thin plastic, not the thick one. Uh, the thin plastic. This is the thick plastic. These are the thick plastic. So you're not allowed to throw them into this burnable stuff. So we have this section, which is really, really good. I like it very much so that I don't have to run around the house looking for different bins, right? So this is a uh, one where we put like bottles uh, and all that. And then we have this I don't know who is calling me all the time with this phone number. <sighs> I don't want to answer it because when I answer it, I, it didn't, no one answer. So I think this is probably a spam. So uh, let me just continue. This is the battery and also burnable. This is place where I put bottles and plastic and uh, paper. This is paper. Packing, thick paper packing like cardboards and all that. And then these are all the food. So, seriously, I think this is a very good system. I And I mentioned this in my vlog early on that uh, we all need to do this because this will save a lot of time. It will save the earth. And then, you know, just imagine the poor fellow have to sort out all this. So if we can do this, why not? We do it ourselves. But of course, this is not that cheap to buy, but it is definitely worth investing because this, you can use this forever in, the, in your whole life. You can have this and you have everything sorted out. So in your country, do you have this kind of, do you have this way of sorting? 
I'd like to know. Okay, guys, let me know. And uh, what do you do at home to sort out your rubbish? So let me just hang out with you a while before the, I show you the food, okay? Um, usually, when it is after the live streaming, LG will come here and he will do the dishes. But we don't do dishes. We are, again, very lazy. In Sweden, we try to do everything with the machine. And I think there's nothing wrong with that because you want to spend time with your family and your loved one. You don't want to spend the whole day just sitting, standing here and cleaning this the whole evening, right? So that is uh, the way of life here in Sweden. Uh, and I know uh, in many countries, we all don't have this uh, way of like uh, using extra bowl because you have to wash by hand. So actually having a washing machine is actually something that a luxury thing. And we don't um, wash every day because it's just two of us. So we wash like alternate days. Which is really good. And uh, I try to save water. Even though the water is very cheap here. It's like, I don't know how LG was telling me. Anyway, it was really, really cheap, the water here. Because we have a lot of snow, right? <laughs> and then <laughs> we have a nature resource. But I still try my best to not waste it. I was brought up that way. My mom always say, no, don't wash your hands every day. Because we have long hair, right? So she's scared that, you know, the water bills would be high. So it's not a stupid idea to do that. Yeah, I think we should all learn how to do this. Save water, save energy. Why should we do that? Why should we waste it unnecessarily? Right? So... Okay, this bowl, I didn't use it, so it's clean. So this knife is not clean. I'm gonna put them in the machine. Let me show you this machine. It's an amazing machine, this one. A washing machine. We have this tray where we cut out all the spoon and the knives. And this is one thing that uh, makes me attracted to a country like this, okay? We have almost everything that is machine. The washer, I like this very much. I cannot live without this. This is the only thing that I cannot live without. So I'm a mess, as you can see. <laughs> and then, you see, this is like two days now. So now is the time for me to wash it tonight. So there's still some space over there where we could put plates. So we don't do laundry. Uh, we don't do laundry with hand either. We just put them in the washing machine. By the way, who do that nowadays, right? So nowadays people don't have time. We rather spend this time for our own. And then I have to put this in the. I'm probably going to cut this piece and I'm going to just mm, eat them like a snack sticks or I'm going to make them like a oh, I think I have an idea I'm going to make something with this maybe <clears throat> tomorrow or well we'll see I usually doesn't like to eat the same thing like the same uh, next day like today, I like I eat the beef. Tomorrow, I eat the chicken or fish. And um, and I like this one very very much. I just bought them. It's like twenty dollars. Uh, very convenient. You know, like this one, you have to struggle. Oh, open and then close, right? So this one is really really convenient. So I just take it out, and it's quite a big bottle, so I can put more of my light soy sauce and my dark soy sauce and also my cooking oil especially when you are working in the kitchen you don't want to stress out 
So I've been using this for two days now. I really like it because of the feature. I just lift this thing up. And then it fits into my this uh, tray. Accessory. This is from IKEA. I like this idea so that I can keep everything here. I don't have to go and search into my pantry looking for items. So it saves a lot of space. And I can put salt here. And then I have like garlic. I'm going to put garlic here. And then I have this uh, my chili oil. And then I have uh, some MSG, <laughs> which I hardly use. Uh, and then, uh, and then instead of buying so much of a plastic bag, I would prefer the shop being able to sell us by the kilo so that, you know, we can bring like container or maybe plastic, not plastic, like a, like a bag where it's refutable. So you don't have to use plastic at all. So this is very good. I like it very much. I don't have to, you know, find places. I'll see if I can do a live streaming on how I organize my stuff. Okay, guys. I have so much uh, food from Asia. And I think I, I think I will try to find a day where I have more time to do this live streaming. Uh and this one, you see, it's so big bottles. It doesn't fit the refrigerator. You know, some refrigerator, the height is uh, very low, right? So the lower it is, you can put more things. So this is a bit too high. So I'm trying to sort out, you know, like looking for more bottles that are short like this. So I don't have to put them here because it will touch the ceiling of this. So this is a really, really cool, good bottles that I invest. And it's really cheap. I am going to see if I can find in, this in Amazon. And I'm going to put them in my link. Okay, let's take a look at this. The clay pot rice, yeah? So, but before I do that, I'm going to just flip the camera and show you guys how it looks like outside. Oh, by the way, guys, I have this. Uh, you probably wonder what is this, right? How come I have this... Uh, in my table here uh, actually this tray belongs to there and you see there's a bench there because I was doing live streaming just now using a bench so this is uh, apple cedar so I try to drink apple cedar every day before because I want to lose weight so having them right in front of me will just, you know, reminds me, okay, I have to drink. And honey is also very good. So if you don't like honey, if you don't like the taste of uh, apple cedar with water, you can add a little bit of honey. It's really, really good. Okay, it makes a lot of difference. So this is my, my I just made this last i didn't make this but i just found this tray and i thought it was really good so you know if you hide this in the cupboard you never remember i never remember when i when it's time for me to drink it like now when i see it oh i say okay i'm gonna make myself a cup or a glass before i eat my dinner so let's take a look at the beef yeah so you can see i'm gonna put the cup Usually I like to wrap them in uh, wrappers, but because I'm going to cut them into really, really small. So let's see. Okay, the beef. Okay, I'm going to put this one on this tray. This tray enables me to turn my, my pot so that I can take photograph you don't really need to have this into the oven for too long let's see oh a one 
Okay, a line more. I think maybe I have to increase the temperature. It's not ready yet, but I'm going to just show you how I do this. Uh, usually, I use a wrapper like this. But this one sucks, yeah. I don't know how many of you have this problem. You're trying to pull this thing out and this doesn't really work. So it's nice. LG was so angry with this thing here the other day. <laughs> so don't <laughs> you have to have a gentle hand to you handle this one. So my meat go up. I still haven't decided what I'm going to do with this meal. So I'm just going to temporarily put them in the refrigerator and I'll decide later. Don't want to put it outside because just in case I can come and eat it. So let me just go give you guys a, a little updates. Yeah. Uh, what is going on? in my house now let me just flip the camera so you can see i'm going to show you my nightmare eh swante hello swante hi he's not my nightmare he's my angel right oh you don't care <laughs> okay i'm going to show you you'll probably be shocked be ready and be shocked. I'm going to on the light so it's better. So this is my nightmare, guys. I managed to sell my apartment and then I move everything into this room. So there is a shock, right? Are you in a shock? Yeah, you are. So everything. In fact, this is just 10% of the stuff that I have in my apartment. I already got rid of a lot of stuff. And I can tell you, it's a hell lot of work. This is my cushion. This bag is really, really, really big. <laughs> you can put a bed in here. And then I have all these um, things that... I don't really use like wires, like plugs and all that. And then I have some cleaning stuff. And then I have some lights. And this one is really, really good. This one. This one is like a air freshener. And then you just plug it with a USB cable. With this cable. And then you can use it to refresh your room with some uh, air freshener. We just blend the air freshener with water and then this steam will come out from this hole. And then this one can be replaceable if you want. And it's really, really good if you are traveling in a car uh, for a very long distance. When we were in Germany, uh, to on our way back, we use this in the car because LG has a lot of problem with his eyes. He feels so tired with his eyes after driving and, you know, fully concentrating on the road. So, I think this is a really good, uh, we call that the moisture evaporator. I don't know what is the name for that. I'm going to find out. So, this is something that you can put. It's just like a water bottle. So, if you want to have a relaxed a a therapy, you just put in some massage. Or <laughs> No, I, I don't know. I'm going to find out. But I put some... A refreshener inside some lemon so and it smells so good with the lemon so maybe it will work with perfume i don't know so these are lights from my apartment and you can see there are so many things from my oh my that's me <laughs> from my apartment right Santa? Santa, you are in a shock right are you Hmm. Wow. So he can't wait for me to get rid of all the stuff here. 
so as you can see behind there there's so much stuff rotating the device here so it's all over the floor i'm supposed to get this done and uh this is the bait okay imagine i have so much stuff i can't even walk through i have to like be really really careful and then i have <laughs> oh Swante, what happened she tried to jump up you silly cat you're not supposed to go up there darling Oh, this cat. Okay, and then the table. I have some plants. I'm going to show you what I did. What I did. And then I'm trying to grow gin garlic here. So these are all my old garlic. I'm trying to plant them. And it seems like it is growing. And then these are the plants that I get from my, in Germany. I try to grow them. Pronok. Gation, they call that and it doesn't look like this growing anywhere maybe here but this is so dry and then my orchid is drying so i'm going to get rid of this no good to have dead plant here and then this one is trying to survive i think some some kind of flowers and my avocado no my uh, avocado this is aloe vera but this is a fake one right so that's a fake one and then i have this a lot of uh, paintings some paintings so that's so exciting he's trying to mark his territory everything i touch yeah is that yours and this is my shoe my shoe Right, Santa? You can wear that shoe too. He's so cute. Yeah, he's so cute. Mm. And uh, my curtain, my pillow. So I'm going to be spending tonight the whole evening to just do organize this again it's a terrible mess uh with my ocd it doesn't really work <laughs> so i'm gonna try and walk out without hurting myself see if i can hope get out of this room so it's good that i have a door here so that i can close myself when I'm doing uh, streaming or uh, live streaming here, that's my office. And then this is how the room looked like. My sister, oh, I've forgotten to water this. My sister was asking me. Where did I find this furniture? I said it's really common. I think I have to water this. I've forgotten this. And then bicycle. I have this is my bicycle when I go out in the summer. And when I go back to Singapore, I go back with this back. And this is my kid, my third child trying to say hello. <laughs> and my my daughter's toys, the Monchichi. Right, Santa? You come you're going to be my manager. Yeah? Yeah. You're going to be my manager? Yeah, are you going to be my manager? <laughs> Swante, by the way, guys, he's uh, 16 years old. Old cat. What you going to do? What you going to do? Let's go and see the beast. Okay? So, no more surprise. 
And then let me just go here. I have this. Uh, we're going to move a bit here and there. Uh, probably this area, we will have another cupboard here. I, I'm going to bring my uh, media cupboard here. And this is where we, I move this uh, shelf from here, from here to there. So this is my shelf that I, things that I like. I don't want to show all this because this has a lot of memories for me. I'm a bit into a bit of feng shui. So I like to read about feng shui and I like, enjoy it so much. And I'm sure, still trying to figure out this one, this Japanese thing, how it works. So, I want to learn, you know, lots of stuff. And I just don't have the time to do all this. So, I just hope that I have more time. And this is our bar, where we have uh, guests, or just me and LG. We just sit and chill out. Right, Swante? And you too, right? Sante like to chill out. Well, of course, he doesn't drink. And I'm so happy. This flowers is coming. So much flowers. God, so pretty. Right, Sante, do you like it? You like the flower. Mommy like the flower so much. It's so pretty, these flowers. And it's like all of a sudden, one morning, I was just waking up. And then I saw one flower. So I was telling LJ, I said, look, look. I was already excited when it's already one flower. And now you see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight flowers. So pretty, right, Sante? So pretty. So this is the our living area. We tried to sell away this lamb on Facebook. This is a bad feng shui lamb, <laughs> according to my friend. She said we have to get rid of it because it has five arms. It's not good for the feng shui. So it was actually standing there. I removed it and then I put temporarily put two lights here. One here and one there. So that, you know, it's balanced. <laughs> okay, let's go to the kitchen and see what what happened to the beef. Okay, let's see. I'm going to put this back and hopefully didn't really Bother me. Put this here. Woo. I'm going to off this. Smells so good. It smells so good, yeah. Okay, let's go start. See guys if it is that good. Let's see, okay. Oh, maybe it's too high. I think this is better. I'll bring it closer. Okay, one, two, three. If it's not enough time to cook, then I have to put them in the oven again. Let's see, okay. Wow! Look at that. It smells so good. Look, oh, guys. You want to eat this too? You can make this at home. I think the beef is really, really yummy. Oh, it looks so delicious. I'm going to try one piece. Mmm. Mmm. 
is amazing. Oh my god, it's so good. If the egg is too hard, this is too hard, I think. Too cooked. So maybe we have overcooked them. But I think overall it's very, very nice. See all the green underneath. So guys, I hope you give this a try. And if you do, let me know, okay? So that I'm, I will be so happy that you try this recipe. And if you enjoy, please give a thumbs up and share this like and subscribe. And then also I'm going to include the link for the pot, this pot this Korean pot and also the link for this uh, knife thing right the sharpener enjoy your day have a blessed day smiling every day all right bye bye